This is the Automation ML Editor. It consists of only one screen which depicts the four hierarchies of the root format CAEX. These are the Instance Hierarchy, the System Unit Class Library, the Role Class Library, and the Interface Library. All four hierarchies are managed in the same way. The plus button allows the creation of new objects within the hierarchy. Depending on the selected object, it only allows the adding of those children which are allowed by the CAEX schema. Let's press the plus button to see what happens. Now we have four hierarchies, all of which are empty. Once the instance hierarchy is created, we can start creating new internal elements. For this, select the parent object and press the plus button. I will now rename this object to line 1. I then select line 1 and once again press the plus button. Now you can see that I have the option of either adding another internal element or adding an external interface. I will select internal element. This gives me a new object. Now let's create an external interface, which I will call Power Supply. This can be repeated as many times as necessary to design an object structure that you like. After many iterations of this, it becomes clear that this can become tedious work, which could be simplified by defining reusable object types. To create a System Unit class, I will select System Unit Class Library and press the plus button. I will rename this class to MyRobot and add some internal elements. Finally, I will add some attributes and interfaces. Now I will instantiate this class two times, and you can see that the reuse of predefined classes helps to speed up the design time of a plant hierarchy. This system unit class library can be thought of as a vendor-specific product or system catalog. Such a library is one of the keys to object-oriented data modeling. In order to simplify dealing with vendor-specific class libraries, CAEX defines the idea of a role class library. A role is an abstraction of a vendor-specific object and explains the meaning of an object in a vendor-independent way. In this example, I will create a new role class, Generic Robot. Then, I associate the vendor-specific class, MyRobot, with the role, Generic Robot. Via drag and drop, I can associate this role to existing instances of this class. Creating a new interface class happens in the same way. I simply press the plus button. I rename it to Power Supply and create an instance for cell 1. To import an existing library into your Automation ML file, just select File Import and select the appropriate library type. In this example, I import the role class libraries from an example file. As you can see, now a large number of predefined roles are imported. If you want to check your CAEX file for errors, press the check button. This gives you a list of errors if there are any. In this case, a reference from the role class library is invalid since the corresponding standard interface class library does not exist. To resolve the error, I would need to import that library too. Some typical errors include wrong class references, missing IDs, duplicated IDs, or missing classes. With this button, you can enable and disable showing class names. This is useful if you want to take screenshots for documentation purposes. This button hides the role references. The Automation ML Editor allows for splitting a file while still maintaining the consistency of all links and references. For this, first select the object which should act as a split point. Then select this button. Specify the name of the split file. The split is still not executed, but the corresponding object is graphically highlighted. Now, press this button. The software asks for the name of the root file. Afterwards, the Automation ML Editor splits the file and saves the root and the split into the same directory. Then, it automatically reloads the root file. As you can see, the split object has no children, but refers to the same object in the split file. 
Instead, a reference to the split file has been added. If you want to merge a set of CAX files into a single file, just open the root CAX file and press this button. Enter a new file name for the merged file. After the merge, you can see that the objects from multiple files have been merged into a single file. The File Properties table allows you to change basic version information of the Automation ML file. Normally, this doesn't need to be changed. Since CAEX is able to cope with user-defined data that isn't part of any standard, it is important that information about the source tool of this data is embedded into the CAEX file. For this, open the metadata table and enter some meaningful information. If you need to reference another CAEX file, Go to the external reference table and add a new entry. The path refers to the absolute or relative path of the external CAX file. The alias is an internal name that can be used to link objects from the external file. The statistics table provides useful information about the number of objects in the CAX document. CAX files require a schema. This allows checking the CAX file against the schema rules. If you don't have the schema, the Automation ML Editor allows saving the schema to any folder you like, as often as you like.